bit too fast. And um, since this is a part with a lot of dunes and small hills, it's very, very, very recommendable to stick to your left. Because you can drive up a dune and some guy like that one rushes in the middle and your game drive is over. These guys are so relaxed. I've come to Melclay picnic site, but uh, I guess I'm not the only one with the same idea. On top of the hill there is a museum, so you can see how was farming in the Kalahari back in the day. Life was hard in the Kalahari. Here has more trees and uh, more grass, even though most of it is already dry. But yes, the landscape is changing once you pass the museum. What a nice surprise! Two cheetahs on this road. I didn't have any expectation for this road and uh, there they are, what is it, 15-20 meters from here those are animals that are not easy to find and uh, been lucky to yesterday twice and today two more and these are different because this is really far from yesterday's so I'm really happy Wap River Valley near Matamata and direction to the first watered hole sits us. It is a very wide river valley and uh, near here is easy to see giraffes
for about 10 seconds and then look around. 10 seconds and then look around. And they must be thirsty. Probably they didn't drink anything since yesterday.
from Mata Mata and uh, if you take to the left you go to the park. If you go straight where the stop sign is that's the border with Namibia. So you see on the other side where this gentleman is coming from that is the Namibia border post and this is the South African border post. If you cross into Namibia border procedures have to be done in three reverence so you cannot just show up here and decide to cross into Namibia because you can't and uh, same here if you come in from Namibia uh, you do the border post procedures from the for the Namibia side here on that building and uh, then you when you get to two reverend you do the, the South African part this morning I've been Botswana in East Trans Frontier Park. 
uh, it's a long road 170 kilometers so and you can only drive there or if you have a booking to stay there so that's 170 kilometers with only two campsites in the middle and uh, the rest is nothing else oh, well water holes but there are no other campsites so that's the way to go if you want to go to Mabua Sehube Here's a turn off to Polenswo campsite, which is a one kilometer from here to the right, or Polenswo Lodge, which is already in Botswana.
you. Bye.